We will bring you the final of the men's later, but up first, it's your women's final. Bowling first for the Mount Mercy Mustangs, Megan Kohlberg. Mackenzie Ulian. Bowling third, Elena Carr. Bowling fourth, Jenna Williams. And bowling fifth, JL Hammond. Your Mount Mercy Mustangs head coach, Andy Dirks. And your Wichita State Shockers. Bowling first, Brooklyn Gagnon. Bowling second, Mary Orff. Bowling third, Olivia Komarowski. Bowling fourth, Juliana Botero. And bowling fifth, Madison Janak. And head coach for the Wichita State Shockers, Holly Harris. He's off here at the PBA Collegiate Championships. That's how you start. Goldberg matches the Shocker strike with one of her own. Olivia Komarowski, fifth-year student from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Yeah, let's keep it going. Pretty good hand there, Carolyn. Alana Carr averages around 192. First non-strike we've had. First fair shot of the game and misses it. Open frame. A little shocked that she did hook by that. I mean, you hooked it, that's fair. Juliana Botero, fourth for Wichita State. For of Team Columbia. And, and Carolyn, just to add to your point, if you roll the ball end over end or you throw a plastic ball, it's not going to hook. It's right. not going to read the pattern. Right. So all you need to do is have good arm swing and good swing direction and direct the ball on the line. That's a spare ball. He still finds it out. Yeah. Yep. He's got a strong rev rate. It shows there. It's of two here on the women's side, Wichita State and Mount Mercy. Another, another miss spare. Wow. And that's with a plastic ball. So you went up against in college. Well, I went to West Texas State on a scholarship, which we will talk about later in the uh, telecast here. Um, Kerner, Mike Scroggins, uh -huh. Mark Scroggins, yeah. Jack Jurek, yeah. Mark McDowell. I'm going to just go on record now since it's <laughs> many years past that he was in attendance, but I don't think what he did when you're part of a program like that that's so community based they they're you're like their children for years and you see that with these even the smaller schools where they're just so community oriented those parents take you in yep. and that's very important becomes one big family yes mary orf now with a pair of strikes so smooth off her hand she's a little bit higher at the foul line 
than normal. A lot of the other ladies are a lot lower, but she gets all of it. Randy, one of the things you talked about with the lane pattern is I do tend to think the women play the lane pattern. Um, I don't want to say the correct way, but I think no, they that's tend what, to... No, that's what you mean, <laughs> and you're right. They tend to play it longer the right way Different. before making the, right. the bigger moves. They Absolutely. like to be a little more direct to the pocket. Yep. Whereas the women tend to stay in the same zone for a lot longer, breaking the lanes down properly. Kamarowski. But I do notice um, they do stand a little more direct. Not only that, you'll also see more of walking matter. Didn't know. No. As long as you're lined up right. Exactly. Cleans that one up again. More uh, room to the right. Luliana Batero might be the best on the team. She's only in that four hole right now. And Got hmm. some work to do here. Trans transition. Three six ten. She was listening. She okay. heard me. Jenna Williams. Big strike there. So she's been perfect today. Smoother in the front, mm -hmm. not down lane. Two Until strikes. the lanes transition. Sorry, two strikes and eight for Madison Janak. And Wichita State will close out Mount Mercy here in game one. There's your first strike. Oh, yeah. That's why she's the anchor. Needs just eight to close them out program has been in existence 65 years. Did you know that? What? Did not. 65 years, 1958. Their bowling program? I, I the talked to them today. Wichita State Bowling, and Mark said he believes both teams were started. It was 1958. That's 65, wow. correct? I was told there'd I'm be a no terrible, math involved. I, well, I'm a terrible math person. Adele will be laughing at me. Did they even have bowling back yes. then? And here's the other thing. They're bowling against a team that's only been around 11 years. Wow. So what's that? just about? eight, and we'll get nine. That'll be enough. Mount Mercy switching things up. The four and five spots stay the same. They mix up one, two, and three. Carolyn, it was so great. It was so great. All right, so mixing things up is Mount Mercy, and right now it is Elena Carr that is going to start, and that's not the start that the Mustangs needed. Elaine, right now, so you have to take that into consideration. How much of that is on the coaching? Oh. And batting leadoff for Wichita State again. In this Parker, rather, in this Baker format. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. All right. Just unbelievable. So to make it through and get on the team, that's a huge, huge accomplishment. Soulmania coming to LA this year. Softly excited. Picks that one into the curb. He gets them all to drop. Discussing their shot when they come off the approach. Look at this. Just rock solid. Soft with the hand. Yep, great hand position or at least. 40 to, to $60,000. Craziness, yes. In his account. Spencer. In the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Some of that NIL money maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you go to bowl.com to learn more about is the difference in Club Sport, NAIA, and NCAA. Eight and got strike, strike nine. She's big again. Go to the seventh. That's terrible. So <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Mary Orff, the junior from St. Louis. 
Oh, boy, this is going to be tough. Uh, bad time for that to happen. Mm -hmm. for game two is going to get real tight. Missed the four. Not even close. Wide of target. All de deflect off and cover the two and the four. Just the one and the two go down. Tomorowski oh. buries them. We need to support each other more, and I hats off to everyone who does that. Shay Ahmed needed that strike and get a late drop of the seven. It just needs a mark. Never giving up the one three. Hammered the one three there. Three straight strikes to close things out for Mount Mercy with a 184. See if Wichita State the win. She can do it again here as well with a mark. In speaking with the coaches before the telecast, the, every coach said the same thing. What's the key? What's the key to Baker? And every single one of them gave the same answer. Yeah. Fill frames. Run over your spares. Well, yeah, fill frames. That's all they could say. Yep. That was it. They didn't, weren't specific. It was just one sentence. Coaching staff of Mount Mercy looking over the shoulder of Janak. Clean this up. They got the win. I just am so excited. I love it. But I just love college bowling. When are you going to let Alyssa it's out of Vanderbilt? <laughs> let her hit the tour, huh? She needs to graduate from <laughs> the education. Nine for Madison and a win for Wichita State. So the Shockers take the first ever PBA Collegiate Championship women's title for the men's title match. Your reigning champs and a national record 12 ITC national titles. It is Wichita State set to take on the squad from Fort Wayne, the Indiana Tech Warriors. For your Indiana Tech Warriors, bowling first, Michael Harmon Jr. <laughs> bowling second, Bobby Habetler. Bowling third, Alex Horton. <laughs> Bowling fourth, Brandon Haney. <laughs> and bowling fifth, James Bennett. And your Indiana Tech Warriors head coach, Tyler DeYoung. And for the Wichita State University Shockers, bowling first, David Hayes. Bowling second, Brandon Bonta. Woo! Bowling third, Ryan Barnes. Woo! Bowling fourth, TJ Rock. And bowling fifth, Spencer Robard. And your Wichita State Shockers head coach, Rick Steelsmith. A lot of it.
three, four, six, seven. Oh, wow. Field goal. He can get out of the gate here. He's going to let him know. Just how much more angle these players are going to play, and it's because of that power, that rev rate. And high fives for the whole team. Oh, good. Mess around. He stepped up and fired. Punish him. That was like wide of target. And Brianna Clemmer's brother. Superstar on a PWBA tour. Yeah, she's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Little yacht rock, right in my wheelhouse. Yacht Rock. How low he gets. Sports management major. Maybe the most methodical approach we've seen of any of the men here today so far. Taking his time, getting it right, uh -oh. and missed it. Too much. David Hayes, leadoff roller, struggled in his first attempt. Right of target. Yeah, best of three, and, and it went down to the third game. So these two, they got a little history behind them. There. That one in the Quad Cities, I believe? Yes, it was. The sophomore. And they're having trouble getting it to come around the corner. Left to seven. Open. Let's say a three seven for me, a two ten split for right here. The freshman from Chicago, Hitler. Ryan Barnes and Spencer Robarts, but. Got it. Getting the ball to the pot. Averaging 209.318 this season. Look at this. You see dad following him right there? Yeah. Such a dad. He's got the camera out. Hey, he probably mows his lawn in sandals and socks too now. <laughs> Back up on the lane here for Indiana Tech. Working on a spare. Important attempt here at 310. And it is your Spare of the Game, sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Lower your initial mortgage rate by 3% with Rate Reduce from Guaranteed Rate, bringing your mortgage rate down. The Tech right now up by 27, but TJ Rock. Team, 205 average. Oh, oh, in. Six doing the business, slapping out the nation frame for Indiana Tech. Yep, to the 10th, the anchor, Robarge. For Wichita State, down 17. Left. Right up the hill enough to, right, for that four pin to do the business on the seven pin. So. Oh, missed it. James Bennett. Two, two. Michael Harmon Jr., whose favorite athlete is Parker Bone the third. What? That's you. Wow. Is up now. Getting ready to lead off game two. Parker Bone the third's favorite head of lettuce, ironically, belongs to Michael Herman Jr. And a strike. We're gonna get pumped up there. You think he's not telling me to? No changes to the Indiana Tech start. Watch this. Five. I think he's just trying to show off because he knows you're in the booth. You think so? Yeah. Did you get a picture with him? I'm not going down there to throw a shot for him, I promise. You got a, you. You got a jersey, maybe you can swap with him? Uh, I'll talk to him later. David Hayes is up. Struggled in game one. Let's see if he can bounce back here in game two. The messenger put on the brakes, left the tent. So the two teams is, have sw swapped lanes, and it appeared to me that the Shockers were playing a little farther right and that we're going to certainly find out. David gave that one a little room on that first shot. 
the left lane hangs for Indiana Tech. Bobby, right of target. Man, you must know your stuff, Randy. Well, you know, I've been doing this for, for a couple of years now. What year is it right now that you're the lead color analyst for PBA? My 23rd year. 23 years. Yeah. There's some people didn't think it'd make it past three months, and here you are, 23. Wow. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still uh, w wondering where my Grammy is. Rob, it, it's on the way. Where's, Rob, where's my Grammy? Uh, it's right next to your USBC Hall of Fame award. <laughs> I'm not going to get overstimulated by anything here. I'm going to step up and do my job. Messenger, uh-uh. I will tell you what, over the last year, year and a half that I've watched Brandon Bond to bowl, he has certainly got better and better and better. He led the U.S. Amateur Championship a few weeks ago. Out in this is a guy who's a two-time Kansas State champ, two-time USA Bowling National champ, two-time member of Junior Team USA. Kicks the 10 pin into the pit, spare, and a smile. My goodness. Alex Horton up now. Alex Horton from just outside of Reading, Pennsylvania. Nice shot, Alex. He got his ball turned the corner pretty good on that lane. How many of these kids have actually physically been to your house? Uh, probably three quarters of the Indiana Tech team. Wow. My boys grew up around them. They've bowled a plenty of junior events with and against each other and have become very, very good friends. Yep, that lane's hooking. Now Ryan Barnes had been perfect to tell that shot. That lane's hooking. Well, we've seen this earlier. Ryan Barnes going to the plastic ball. Oh. Ten. Pretty good shot. He gave it a chance. Got yep. it out there to where we thought that ball might wiggle a little bit. And his uh, health, certainly. Senior from Las Vegas. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wichita State in a world of hurt right now. Decision making is as you're going down, as you're, as you're going through your teammates and you're watching them all go high, is to start the seventh for Indiana Tech. See if we can get that ball a little further left at the two pin this time. Slide it over in there at 10. Took care of the two and the four, left the. Pretty close right there. Here's Alex Horton had a strike last time up. Good one. Pretty good solid shot there. There's Dad Chris watching it down lane. That's good. That's a lot Haney. that one in nicely. The USBC Masters in Reno had those wild pants, a tournament eventually won by Thomas Larson. Just a sophomore, Robars really needs this and gets it. Perfect setup for the 10th. 
One thing for sure, watching him get it off his hand. Look at how low he gets, then gets up on that toe and just pushes it down to the spot. Nothing but 10 back. Oh, he knows how to bowl. Make no mistake about it. Wichita State can still close it out with strikes. Let's see what kind of pressure Bennett can put on him. Same hang spot. Guys are getting it down lane where they want to get it to, and it will not come off of that spot on that left lane. And lo looks like we're going to go to extras. Over Open three. work for each team. Oh, he missed it! Over. And Indiana Tech takes it. Oh my God. I was guaranteeing extra innings in it. Bach needed to take care of the 10 pin and then get three and cut it to close. No, Randy, a plastic ball more than likely would have kept fading down the lane Absolutely. at that point. Without question. Woo! The satisfying moment of the match sponsored by Snickers. Nothing satisfies like a Snickers. Certainly not satisfying moment for Rock in Wichita State, but for Indiana Tech, a big win.